Today, another one for the oh my god, everything is hackable column. A team of researchers at the Technical University of Berlin figured out how to turn an everyday phone into a jammer. What is a jammer? It's a phone that's capable of blocking calls and texts to other phones within 75 miles. Hmm, that doesn't sound too good. The team tested the process on some common Motorola phones, and it works on 2G networks, which are still the most common type of cell network used across the world. The attack starts with modifying the phone's firmware on a chip called the baseband processor, which is the part of the phone that helps communicate with transmission towers. Normally, when a call or text is sent over the network, the tower is responsible for finding the intended recipient and then sending it within a matter of moments. But the modified firmware is capable of responding faster than the tower can, so it basically interrupts all those communications. Not hard to imagine how this can be troublesome, especially in an emergency situation. But in case you're wondering, they did not design the firmware so they could actually read communications. So just how dire is this? Well, here's some caveats. Motorola phones were the only ones successfully mutated into these jammers. Specifically, they use the C1 series of phones. And jammers are only capable of blocking text and calls within their own network. T-Mobile can only block T-Mobile, etc. Plus, it only works on 2G GSM networks and can't affect 4G or 3G, which are the services most highly touted by major carriers. However, most carriers do still use GSM networks for some functions, and in total, around 4 billion people around the world still use GSM for calls. So is it time to run for the hills? Well, no, there's no record of anyone actually attempting this, but in an emergency scenario, you'll be smarter knowing it's possible. For TFN, this is Annie. And don't forget to check out today's Tech Assassin Reloaded, where Richard Ryan destroys a keg full of beer with explosives, just in time for Labor Day.